But it's important to know that lists are more than just rows and columns of data. For, a, for, a, for an issue tracking list, I think this format works great, but there's a lot of different kinds of lists. One type of list is a asset tracking list. So I've switched to another list here, and this is the list my team is using to track physical devices. You see that some devices are available, some are in repair, some are in use, and this is great. Uh, but we have a different visualization that's really well suited for lists like this, where the visual element is really the focal point. Um, we have a new gallery view. You can see here that this is really shining a spotlight on the picture of the device and makes it a little bit easier for me to visually scan my list and find a particular device. Uh, these are sort of views that carry with it all the powerful sorting, grouping, and filtering capability of SharePoint so I can switch uh, to another view that's grouped by asset type, and I can get these same sort of configurable cards in the view. Uh, you don't have to be a wizard to configure these cards. You can go to format this view, and you can just click edit tile. And this allows me to quickly uh, drag and drop to configure the information that's uh, displayed in each card. So if I don't want to show the photo, I can uncheck that. Uh, if I want to show the purchase date and the purchase price, I can drag those up. And, and put this data front and center in my list. And this is great. Uh, if I want to simplify this down, just show a few fields, all I have to do is click the check, check marks um, and click Save. And just from there, I've created a customized gallery view for the assets on my team.